Okay, uh, I would like to spend some time uh, focusing on creating a query, uh, especially in design view inside of Microsoft Access. So I've opened up a, a, a database that everybody's going to make in class. Um, any database will work. When you have a couple of tables inside of a database, you want to make sure you have separate names for those tables. I'm seeing a lot of people uh, naming them the same is confusing. So we have a client table here, which is a list of clients of our Babbage bookkeeping or bookkeeping business. And we have a list of bookkeepers, which would be like our employees. All right. So once we have our tables created, what we're going to do today is learn how to create a uh, query using a wizard or a query in design view. Let's just focus on design view, actually. Um, double click on creating it and it'll ask you which tables are going to be included in this query and let's use the client table. And a query again is just a question being asked of the database. So the question for this is, uh, for this query is, which clients have bookkeeper number 24 assigned to them? So what we're going to do is we're going to decide what do we want displayed. I want to display the client number, the name, and the bookkeeper name number. So by double clicking them up here, these fields, it puts them down here uh, in the uh, table. So I have client number, name, and bookkeeper number. So right now I can always go up here anytime I'm making a query and run the query or ask the question. And what it does is it'll show me all the available people and all the available bookkeeper numbers. And uh, this isn't exactly what I want. I was looking for you know, people that have bookkeeper number 24 assigned. So I only want to see 24. So what I'm going to do now is actually restrict. I can save that. I'll save it as let's save it as bookkeeper number 24 query. Or bookkeeper number 24. We know it's a query. So now I've, I've already actually saved it. I'm going to double click it again and run it, but it's not doing what I want. So what I can do is actually open it in design view again, and I can restrict the criteria. There's a criteria row right here uh, to only numbers 24. So now when I hit run, I can see that I've got only number 24 showing up. So that is what I originally wanted. Uh, I was closing it to go back to design view. You can just click right here, and it'll take you back to design view also. So now I'm back in design view, and I can run a number of different things inside of here, but that was what I was looking for, was which customers have bookkeeper number 24. So we use design view to design the query that says client number, name, and bookkeeper number. But the important thing was putting the 24 in the criteria row, so it only shows me number 24 in my results.